Hey there, this is Matthias from Interactive Asia and in this setup we want to show you how you can use OptiTuyo to recognize flying objects. In that case, this flying object is a tennis ball and here are three other larger sized uh, balls. So with this tennis ball, I have to tell you directly with this setup, uh, uh, this tennis ball can't be recognized reliably. Sometimes he can, sometimes not. I want to say uh, if we throw it by hand and slowly we have a recognition rate of roughly 50%, right? So just let's see if that works. So you see that first one get recognized. Um, also quickly before we go into that physical demo, right? Uh, we have here set up with a roughly four meter wide screen and uh, we are using our OptiTuyo OT800 sensor which is mounted pretty much in the center under the ceiling here of the screen, right? Um, and we are using then a Ventus application, a very simple prototype of a game which we developed in Ventus uh, to recognize or to visualize basically that impact points uh, of that different sized uh, balls, right? So let me start with that uh, tennis ball first because uh, I can promise you uh, not every impact uh, will get recognized with this setup as that one right now, right? So that depends simply on the scan rate and the angular resolution of that sensor basically and of course also it's a combination. The smaller that object uh, is and the faster it flies, the, the shorter is that impact on that screen, right? That shorter is the time where the leader basically can see it. Um, that means uh, if you want to recognize small and quick flying objects, then you need a, a sensor with a very small angular resolution and with a very high scan rate. Okay, so the tennis ball, I want to say, is not optimized uh, or is, is too small actually for this setup. Um, if we are going on now here with this uh, roughly uh, 12, 13 centimeter in diameter uh, rubber ball, right? Uh, we did the tests already since uh, quite a while, since a couple of days. And as you can see, this, uh, this ball, and uh, if I throw it in that speed, uh, simply like a little game, uh, every, every, basically every uh, impact gets recognized from Opti to you, right? And of course, even if I get closer to the screen, uh, just to demonstrate you, right? So Opti to you recognize here wherever I make an impact here, of course, even my hand would be recognized, right? So, exactly. So, I guess you got the idea how you can use uh, or utilize OptiTuyo for your installations, for your entertainment, sport games, children games, whatever you want to do with it. Um, I think I don't have to show you that even the basketball will get recognized. Obviously he will because uh, he has a large diameter, right? And uh, I want to say with this basketball we have a recognition rate of close to 100%, right? So, of course, uh, like I said, we're using here the OT800 bundle from us. And uh, this game is developed in Ventus, but of course OptiTuyo will also work with other applications like Unity, Unreal Engine, uh, Touch Designer, V, 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 um, Notch, and so on, really. Basically, any application uh, that understands uh, yeah, multi-touch inputs, right, will work with our OptiTuyo solution. If you have more questions, please feel free to contact us uh, via email, via our, our website, or simply give us a call, and then we can give you more information uh, how you could use OptiTuyo. Until then, Bye-bye.